Hey, good afternoon, my friends. I am Metaphysical Mike. We're all about expansion on the mind, body, soul, taking you to a whole new level of joy. Today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 things you didn't know about me. 10 facts. These are going to blow your mind. Some of them is ridiculous, and some of it's pretty interesting stuff. So let's start this. Number one, my zodiac sign is a cancer. I was born on July 2nd. Cancers are all about nurturing, family, and we are very compassionate people, and you never want to mess with a cancer. We do have times where, boy, when we have, there's a full moon, you know that we're going to be on edge. The second fact you didn't know about me was I was originally going to be a chief meteorologist. Truth be told, when I was really, really young, about the age of four or five, I loved storm chasing. I loved everything about weather. The dream was to be a chief meteorologist, go to Penn State Abington, then switch over to main campus, then, you know, be a storm chaser out west, you know, be a chief meteorologist for NBC, NBC 10 Studios. And then my spiritual awakening happened and my soul said, we're going to take you in a 360 degree angle away, a whole entire different direction. I had no idea. Third fact about me is I actually used to ride a unicycle. And when I was 14, 15, my parents got me a unicycle when I was in overnight camp. I went to this beautiful overnight camp, Independent Lake, in Bangtonham, New York. And, you know, I rode a unicycle. First time I got the unicycle, I threw it on the ground and said, screw it, I'm never going to do it. Then before you know it, I started riding my unicycle. It was a green unicycle all throughout the camp. Everyone thought I was a little crazy, but we're all crazy in our own fun way. Number four, this is really, really funny. I once got kicked out of a movie theater for sneaking in a Wawa hoagie. Yeah, truth be told, when I was in high school, I went to see the movie Frozen with my girlfriend. And I went into the theater. I had a Wawa sandwich. I, like, you know, tucked it. And I, you know, had it and someone found it. And guess what happened? I had to eat my sandwich outside. He said, go outside and go eat your sandwich. You can't bring it in here. So we were a little bit late to the movie. Pretty strange how that uh, turned out to be, for sure. Number five, I used to draw my own Mario levels. What does this mean? It means the game Super Mario Brothers, I was addicted to when I was really young. I would draw platforms. I would take paper and draw with a pen and paper and I would draw my own platform games of Bowser of stages. That was so much freaking fun. Number six, I've never had a sip of alcohol and I do not, I do not, that's not my intention ever. It's just something not for me. I'm not much of a partier. I'm someone who would rather read a book or work on my business on a Friday night or hang out with some friends, see a movie than drink. It's just something not for me. If you do it, that's totally fine. I respect you, nothing personal. It's just something I'm probably never going to do. Just doesn't, you know, I want to be fully aware and more conscious of everything. Number seven, I was with my father and we actually saw the Beach Boys live in New York. It was live in concert. It was fantastic. I saw Michael Love, and it was just a great time, great bonding experience with my father. It was a lot of fun. Number eight, I used to do martial arts. When I was really young, I think I was about seven or eight years old, I actually used to do karate. I chopped boards, and for the sixth grade challenge show, I actually hit my head, you know, didn't break the board, but hit my head, and I got a bump. That was uh, definitely a lot of fun, but I did go to the degree of getting my black belt, and I did this for four to five years. It was pretty fun, it was interesting. Number nine, I was in New York City and I actually got trampled in a crowd of people. Yes, you know, everyone was going so fast. You, 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 you can imagine how fast the speed is in New York City. And I was like, whoa, oh my God. And before you know it, I was, you know, rushing and everything. I just got trampled and crushed on. And, you know, this one guy, I was not nice to one of my family members. He grabbed me by the collar. I'll never forget. He said, you be nice to your, you be nice to your, your mother now. And I was like, oh boy, I thought he was going to like hurt me or something. But it was a wake up call from the universe for me to be more of who I am at a cord level. Number 10, I've actually been an intuitive healer and spiritual coach since February of 2018. Yes, it's been over a year since I've started making guided meditations to raise the frequency of the collective. I've done spiritual coach work, and I also, you know, am an intuitive healer who does energy healing, and I love helping people. And before we want to end this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for almost 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. 
We are like five away, five people, less than five away from 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. This is so exciting. Thank you for all your love, all your support. Please comment down below. What are some facts that you would love us to hear? What are some facts about yourself that you want to share? What is something you love? What is something that most people, what is something most people don't know about you? Share in the description in the comment section down below. Above, you're going to find a description box of all of my services, all my meditations. Make sure to check out my website. It's metaphysicalmike1111.com. I'll be available for coaching, healing, and psychic reading starting in the summertime. I'd be honored to work with you. I also have an online clothing store. I'll put that in the description above. And also, I have 20 guided meditations. They're about 12, 12 each. They're mind-blowing. They're powerful. And they'll take you to a whole new level. If you want to clear anxiety, fear, depression, let me know. And I'd be happy for you to have this meditation. Someone listened to it manifested $6,000. You spend 12, 12, made 6K in a day. Have an awesome one. Be blessed. Namaste. We'll chat again real soon. And I love you. Peace. Thank you again.